Mrs. Claudine Jones, 50 years old, is presently at the oncology unit for post-operative care. She has just undergone modified radical mastectomy on her left breast with ganglion resection. She has been in the recovery room for 45 minutes, and according to the attending nurse's report, the surgery went as planned and without complications. The nurse's follow-up confirms that everything is normal. It is 4.30 p.m. You perform your immediate post-operative assessment with Mrs. Jones and validate her understanding of the PCA. She is at 2 on the Pesero scale, sometimes drowsy, easily awake. Her vital signs are within the expected range. The rest of the initial exam is normal. Mrs. Jones mentions to you a pain of 8 out of 10 in the form of a burning sensation radiating from the left side of her chest to the left arm. Yeah, it burns. So for your 8 out of 10 pain, Mrs. Jones, okay, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go look in your chart, yeah. okay, see what you can have, and I'll read right back, okay? Okay, please. Oh. What do you suggest to relieve her pain? A bolus via her PCA? Ibuprofen 400 mg per os, hydromorphone 1 mg per os between doses. Choice number one is the correct answer. Indeed, the PCA allows her to inject a dose when she feels the need. A bolus is currently possible since the last dose received was the initial loading bolus in the recovery room more than 15 minutes ago. Ibuprofen is indicated for coanalgesia and will be started at 6 p.m. And hydromorphone is planned for 24 hours post-op according to the prescription. It is now 5 p.m. The pain has decreased to 4 out of 10 following the self-administration of morphine via the PCA. Mrs. Jones is at 2 on the Pesero scale. Her respiratory frequency and oxygen saturation are normal. Before you leave the room, Mrs. Jones tells you that she feels nauseous at 6 out of 10. What do you suggest to relieve her post-operative nausea? Call the physician to validate the diamond hydronate prescription, administer diamond hydronate as prescribed, offer a cold water compress on the back of the neck. Hello, doctor. I'm calling you for Mrs. Jones. She's nauseous 6 out of 10, and her password scale is at 2. I'd like to see with you if it's possible to administer her another molecule that would have less effect on the central neurological system. I was thinking of Dancitron. Sure, I'll send you the prescription. Perfect, thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too. The correct answer is choice number one. Indeed, diamond hydronate also causes drowsiness. Since Mrs. Jones is at two on the Pesero scale, you could suggest to the physician that he replaces it with Ondansetron, which has less sedative effects, to limit the CNS depressant effects of the combination of morphine and diamond hydronate. A cold water compress is an interesting complementary choice. It is 6 p.m. Mrs. Jones says that she is relieved by the antiemetic administered, but she now has a 6 out of 10 headache. She says that she often has headaches relieved by Tylenol. Her post-operative pain is 3 out of 10. What do you suggest to relieve the headache? Notify the physician to validate or modify the analgesia already prescribed. Give the regular per os acetaminophen dose as prescribed. Offer self-administration of a bolus of PCA. Choice number one is the correct answer. The acetaminophen prescription is currently indicated for post-operative pain relief. Legally, therefore, the prescriber should be notified that another type of pain is present to assess whether or not the analgesia needs to be modified. 
for example, the addition of a PRN or another molecule. The current prescription for morphine via PCA is not indicated for headaches, but for postoperative pain. It is 10.30 p.m. Here are your assessment data. Heart rate, 72. Blood pressure, 115 over 65. Saturation, 93. Respiratory rate, 7. Rating of 3 on the Pasero scale. What interventions do you implement? Apply the naloxone protocol as prescribed. Stop the PCA and monitor closely. Call the facility's code blue team. Mrs. Jones? Mrs. Jones? I came here to take your vital signs. Mrs. Jones? Okay. You're a little sleepy. Mrs. Jones? Okay. Choice number one is the correct answer. A follow-up order for PCA allows you to independently apply the necessary interventions to ensure safe care when signs and symptoms of respiratory depression are present. Stopping PCA is not enough. You must first intervene by applying the naloxone protocol and observing the user's response before calling the Code Blue team. The PCA infusion was stopped at 10.30 p.m. The anesthesiologist has ordered to continue with the post-PCA discontinuation opioid prescription to relieve her post-operative pain. It is now 12 a.m. Mrs. Jones has a pain level of 7 out of 10 at the surgical site. She is at 1 on the Pasero scale. What do you suggest to relieve her pain? Hydromorphone 2 mg per os and regular per os coanalgesia. Only regular per os coanalgesia as planned. One dose of hydromorphone 1 mg per os and the regular per os coanalgesia scheduled. Okay, so understand you have a pain, 7 out of 10. Okay, your surgical site? Yes, that hurts. It okay. just hurts. It hurts? What does it feel like? Oh, it burns. It burns? It burns, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I will have a look into your chart and your file, yeah. okay? And I'll see what I can give you, okay? Oh. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Choice number one is the correct answer. Hydromorphone is indicated for acute PRN pain and regular paroscoanalgesia administration is important to ensure optimal relief. Julie? Coanalgesia alone would not be sufficient. On the other hand, okay, so the prescription the states to administer 2 mg per os, but legally, the dose cannot be reduced without the prescriber's agreement. Following the administration of hydromorphone 2 mg per os, when do you plan to do your monitoring? Pain intensity, degree of sedation, and respiratory status. At peak action of each administration for 24 hours, every hour for the duration of the opioid's action, every 15 minutes for the next hour. Mrs. Jones, I understand you have some pain. You, do you have, still have some pain? No. No? No, I'm feeling much better. It's been a while since the last medication and yeah. everything's good? Yeah. yeah, everything is good now. Perfect. No so, pain. It's uh, what a relief. Yes, thank you. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to take your vital signs, okay? okay? Yeah. Choice number one is the correct answer. Considering the change of molecule, morphine discontinued for hydromorphone, 
the initial monitoring frequency should be resumed. For a PUROS drug, monitoring should be done at peak action of each opioid administration for the next 24 hours. Hourly monitoring would be prudent and safe, but not essential. Monitoring every 15 minutes for one hour is not sufficient since the peak action is between 90 and 120 minutes. Okay. It's all good. Thank you. Perfect. So if there's anything, you can call the call bell, okay? okay. Thank you. You're welcome. It is now 3.30 in the night. Mrs. Jones has a pain level of 4 out of 10 at the surgical site. What should be your next intervention? An interdose of hydromorphone 1 mg per os. Offer a breathing technique and a pillow during mobilization. Advance the hydromorphone 2 mg per os PRN dose in 30 minutes. How much is your pain from 0 to 10? Oh, uh, a four. A four? Yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. And how oh. does it feel like? Well, it's burning and it's like, you know, uh, pulling. Okay. Uh, it's hard to say. Okay. So yeah, it's a burning, burning. pulling yeah. sensation for yeah. 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 So I looked into your chart. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And right now we can only give you an interdose, so one milligram of hydromorphone, okay? Okay, yeah. Per, by mouth. Okay. okay. Yeah. Choice number one is the correct answer. Interdosing is the appropriate choice at this time since the next dose of hydromorphone 2 mg per os cannot be given for another 30 minutes. Breathing techniques and a pillow during mobilization are good non-pharmacologic interventions to suggest in conjunction with PRN medication, but may not be sufficient. Legally, we cannot move up the dose interval. Hydromorphone 2 mg per os PRN is prescribed every four hours. Mrs. Jones was well relieved by her analgesia last night. She is being discharged as planned the next day in the afternoon.